not the tulips. I already have those. I've got to pop those into my little tulip vase, yeah. Um, but I'll start here, shall I? So dog treat wise. So let me let me first explain that on Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, I know it's not the actual coronation, but it is the bank holiday because of the coronation. Um, we've got family coming for you know, a little gathering and for something to eat. So I needed to just top up with a few bits, especially a couple more bits of the um, gluten-free stuff for my one of my daughters and one of my grandsons. Um, however, these are the dog treats. Now, mine haven't had these before, I don't think. Not this particular make, anyway. So I thought I'd try them. Um, so these are the Harrington ones, the Natural Choice, Meaty Chicken Fillets, um, Grain Free, etc. No sort of artificial stuff in there. And then I've got the Duck duck Jerky. That's going to be interesting. These they absolutely love. Um, you get like six in a pack and they really like them. Um, so that's the beef ones and that's the chicken one. These were substitute. I did order some finger rolls um, because on Saturday for the coronation, we are just the three of us at home are having our own like little tea party. But I ordered finger rolls. They've substituted for this. So these are the white rolls with the six sliced white rolls. Um, but they'll be fine. Uh, these are to be had for Monday. So three packs of the mini pork pies. They were three for the price of two. So um, the ice cube bags, two packs of paracetamol, and I need to get this into the freezer. So this is a carton or Madagascan vanilla ice cream. That was a substitute. I ordered the Kelly's uh, Cornish clotted cream, but I substituted with that. Um, but we've had this before loads of times and it's, it's very nice. A couple of free from things here. Um, so the jam tarts, so you've got the free from jam tarts and the free from Victoria sponges. Um, this was a substitute. I ordered the strawberry and they've sent the raspberry, but that's fine. Um, I've got a pack of the extra special Sultana stones and some clotted cream. Uh, fruit wise, I've got um, three packs of strawberries. So um, these are a substitute. What I ordered was um, kind of bigger tubs and they were two for five pounds, uh, but they've substituted it with this, but that's absolutely fine. So what I'm gonna do, although the date's the 7th and everyone's coming on the 8th, um, we will use one pack tomorrow. And then what I will do is to just wash everything, take out the little stalks, dry them, and pop them in a container into the fridge. They do last longer that way. And then um, two punnet things of grapes. So these are the crisp and juicy seedless green grapes, and they are delicious. Um, Milk-wise, just two bottles of the Bob a skimmed milk, which does taste very much like it's semi-skimmed, it's grey, it's filtered, and it lasts a lot longer. And then I did treat myself to this. I, let me pop it up here so we can see it a bit better. I could not resist, I thought it was so cute. It was eight pounds, I can tell you that. Um, and it's 2023 Coronation. What does it say there? Let me see. So it's the King Charles III. There we go, 2023 King Charles III Coronation. And um, I do like myself a cup and saucer, but what I liked about this one is it's it's kind of mug size, isn't it? So yeah, I really like that. Unnecessary purchase, but um, I kind of like, I justified it because of the coronation, put it that way. So that's everything I got, and it wasn't a lot, but there you go. That's what it is these days, isn't it? 
as we all are familiar with. This was 60 something pounds. I did it online. I will pop the prices on screen. Uh, because it's online, I can't remember and I don't have a receipt in front of me. Um, but you know, some time ago, a couple of years ago, at least 60 something pounds would have bought you a reasonable amount. But uh, yeah, not anymore, not these days. Anyway, uh, dog food. So I've got a pack of these, well, a mega pack of 40 of the pedigree um like the mixed selection flavors in jelly all right guys so i've got the lampshade you've just seen it in the lounge with the light on um but I'm finding it quite dark against the blue wall. And now I've got the new curtains, that kind of like peacocky colour. Um, I've decided to just upcycle the lampshade a bit. So from Amazon, if I can find the link, I'll pop it down in the description box if you're interested in this sort of thing. So I found these, this trim. And it's like these little feathers and it matches perfectly with the wallpaper and the curtains so i've now got to decide where i want to put it if i want to put it at the top or if i want to put it around the bottom i actually kind of quite like it like that Let's see what it would look like if it was at the bottom Barney, come out of there, please. Right, just have a little idea of what it would look like if it was at the bottom. No, I like it at the top. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it at the top. Um, I'm just going to use some Yoohoo glue for it. Because if I get fed up with it, I think with the Yoohoo glue, you can kind of get away with peeling it off. So I'm just going to go in, put some Yoohoo all around the top. I've got a freaking hole in this, so it's a bit annoying. But uh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, we'll get there. We will get there. So it's like a really quick craft, really, a very quick way of just changing something to match your decor, you know? And uh, I think it cost, if I can remember rightly, maybe about three pounds or something. There we go, it's all the way around. It's also very much in my hand. I'm just going to get that off my hand because well, there's a hole in it. Okay, so let's get this on. Is it the right way or wrong way? I don't think so. So I'm going to go by the seam at the back here. Where is it? Oops. It's like a seam here. So I'm going to start. It's going to be like my starting point. Glasses on. And go with it. I'm gonna do is I have some tiny little pegs here in my drawer and I'm just gonna pop it on that very first bit that I've done there we go just to kind of hold it there and then let's go all the way around the top. I really like it on the top, actually. Like, it just falls down over the... I'm going to chuck that bit away because where it's got a hole in it, it's just leaking out. And every time I try to squeeze it, it just goes everywhere. So that bit has to be thrown away now. It's just silly trying to keep it. And then, 
just gonna like overlap it a little bit. So there. Oops. Just go over that a little bit. So that bit there sticks. Be quiet. Okay, Fred, Barney. A little bit left. So there we go. That is what it looks like. I quite like it around the top because you can still see the blue and um, it kind of looks like it's supposed to be there. I really like that. So that was a really quick and easy way to uh, upcycle something to make it so that it matches your existing decor or complements it. Um, I'll give it an hour to dry and then I'll pop it back on the lamp and I'll show you what it looks like. And there we are, that's what it looks like lit now. I am really chuffed, and as you can see, you can tell the difference of the wall behind the light, and it matches so, so well with the curtains. Love it. So the other thing I've been doing today is washing through. So I've washed a load of uh, strawberries, and they're in the fridge now um so i'm just drying these off popping them into a container and then out of these little bits of strawberries here i am going to take the seeds from these and just pop them in um some soil these two here i'm just going to pop those into soil to see what happens um but with these i'm going to just take off if i can scrape off the seeds if you do this like i don't know if you can see what i'm doing actually so what i've done is i've just sliced some of the strawberries you know from a strawberry and then you just sort of like mash it a little bit into the tissue and just leave it to dry and then once that's dried you will get the seeds they will be stuck to the paper. So I'm just leaving that like that now. These two I'm gonna go and pop outside. These I am leaving, and then once they've dried a bit, I'll do that. They, I can just take the seeds off and uh, just sow them. So I'm just leaving those, a little bit more here I can use now. There we go, so that's that. These are going to go and pop outside. Right, so just repurposing a couple of uh, ice cream containers just to put the washed grapes into. So I've got some kitchen towel at the bottom. Just so that it catches any sort of moisture at the bottom. And then I'm just laying some of them in. I'm not taking them off of the stalks purely and simply because I want to put them on the, um, you know, on the buffet that I'm doing. I want to sort of lay them on so that they look nice. go so I'm going to pop another layer of uh, kitchen paper on the top just to absorb any moisture and then I'll pop these into the fridge And then the next thing I'm going to do is just to do cut my tulips and put them in my little tulip vase. Okay, fill them with water.
so thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll talk to you in my next video take care everyone bye bye bye